shows that for the throat chakra to open, for you to feel like the voice is being heard, Gemini Cancer, signs, shows that there has to be an integration of feeling that it's not just one-sided, that there's an actual integration where you both get to work together and do things together in a functional way. And that's really beautiful stability because that comes with the voice is healing because of that integration, that divine integration of collaboration together as is meant. So that was Gemini Cancer. The next we're going to do on there with the pull for Cancer. Okay. Um, we're not pulling for Cancer. We're pulling the cards for those who are Cancer signs. It shows that you have got to heal through feeling like you were not strong enough and that's why you don't feel like there's an integration happening with your experiences with creations because you felt like you were kind of like kicked to the curb like you you thought that your friends were a certain way and then you learned that you needed to get other types of friends and this was just floating in midair underneath my leg did you do that? I literally just like, look at that. It's a, um, a date seat. That's pretty cool. I learned how to move foil with my, like, looking at it energetically today. That was really fun. Okay, so the next one is for. Cancerian, so that you're going to heal through that, I could do an activation after I do the completion of these um, on there. Okay, so Angel of Strength, you've got to start working on positive changes, looking and seeing the horizon, visualizing that there's positivity, seeing the dream board, believing that it's possible to be happy, to be healed accepted, to be integrated, to even go to places where you can do what you need to, to just release some of that energy without hurting another. The next is for Cancer Leo. Interactions with others, 
that it's way bigger than that. Um, through a loving, through a pure loving, through an experience that says, hey, I have a soul and so do you. And let's do something that's deeply precious together. You know, like, um, and ener energetically utilizing the energy to do something that's sacred. Okay. And loving each other also. So let's see. Next says um, Leo Virgo. Don't be so sassy. Leo Virgo, if you're Leo Virgo Crest, shows appreciation for the sacred positive changes that have changed the way that you perceive your experiences. Give thanks and appreciation for who you have become, who you are becoming, and what you have on the next page. It's not just the next page, it's a page that's already been written, and that you've already been building yourself energetically to come into a place of peace. So acknowledging the peacefulness, acknowledging the visions, the dreams, even the diet changes. The next one is Libra. These two cards fell out also, so I'm going to read them. Shows that there's door to romance, but that it's not with the same being that it was um, imagined it was going to be with, that there's other romance that is coming, and that the other is um, jealous of it, and wants to be the only being who brings the romance to that loved one is learning how to accept that there's many loved ones and that that is okay. So the next we're going to do on there is just Libra, right? Did I already do that? I'm ready for bed now. Um, let's see. I'm not done yet. Shows contract number six on there, which says that it has to do with children, you can do with children or business, but it looks like it can do with children, a house, something that's like a foundation, but not only a foundation, but a place that's called home, um, for not us, but for your situation, what you're working on, signing a contract for it could be a new home, it could be a Business, it could be a marriage certificate. I was like, what's that thing called again? That thing that they do. <laughs> a ceremony, a fantastic, oh, a wedding. Shows cornucopia, which is bliss. And this is an all for us, everyone card. Bliss, sustainable wellness, expansional bliss. Next one is Libra Scorpius. It says Scorpius. It doesn't say Scorpius. It says Scorpius. So Libra Scorpius cusp. Sounds kind of pulled together. Okay. Show stability with the integration of a relationship. It could have to do with a child. There's someone who's like a third party involved, but it also could do with the fulfillment of spirit, mind, and body. Um, the vessel expanding into I have plenty as I am. I have this ability to provide for myself, and I can go and enjoy being and laying and resting and having fun, jumping across streams and rolling on these 
music or hills and breathing in the air and watching the wishes float by. You know, when you get when we get to that point of um, relaxation, really acknowledge the hard work and effort that it took to get to that part, um, especially if you have children. Posting the rest on online. Thank you so much, loved ones. I don't want it to go offline. Let me go get my computer charger. Hold on. Sag and Capricorn 
shows strategizing through the experiences. It shows that it has to do with relationship and being able to become one together, having a marriage or having a child or having some sort of an integration that is very necessary to do as a soul. Like a beautiful love and light being that becomes one with another beautiful, very lovely light being. But it takes strategy because not everyone is readily available for that kind of experience. Some of them are like, I'm better as I am. Hello, loved ones. I'll read your messages. Let me see. I will do that in just a moment. I'm going to complete through these. So, thank you. And acknowledging that with the integration and that one that's uniting, it creates a sacred trinity, a sacred pyramid, a sacred... Um, triangle connection that creates an OM ball that's really very important to work with healing. With Capricorn, it shows removing the feelings of attachments for positive changes. If you're holding on to past grudges, realize that this is not that moment to hold on to grudges. This is the moment to release the grudges, to really expand with the forgiveness and an energy of, well, we all have to transform and we each do in our ways. So we acknowledge that we have more potential when we're ready to receive that we are part of the positive change by removing the attachment of sadness, sorrow, grief, and grudges. We embrace that positive solution of, of loving deeply, expansionally, healingly, soulfully. The next is Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. Thank you for your patience. It's amazing. It's Shows community. Shows embracing and the opening to the connection of that, which is the experiences with loved ones as Ohana, and, and enjoying each other's company in an innocent way, in a way where it's relaxing, it's comfortable, it's calming, but that you have a chance then to speak. If you know anything about events or gatherings or things like that, you acknowledge that. When it's a community, the communications is in another type of way. They're not always out at the same moment to talk to each other. They take turns to talk to each other, and they have that community energy. They call each other on the phone. They check in if they hear someone yelling in the home. You know, it's like family. So acknowledging the, the worth of community and the music of that and the integration with pure love, stability of the integrations of pure love connections and families and as the souls who are ready to, to heal and connect in those ways. So you've probably been really hungry and wanting to do things, but you're like, ah, is that a good idea? Yes, it's a great plan and there's ways to do it in a comfortable way. I have this app online that I connect with the neighbors. I, I even contact the mayor. Okay. The next is for Aquarius. Shows integrating is necessary to integrate balance, integrate the integration and in what it is that you're supposed to be doing spiritually. Acknowledging the healing that happens with that. Aquarius Pisces cusp shows indecision. Shows you don't feel decisive because you do not feel like you're a healer. You don't feel like you have all the answers. And you don't want to be deceived. Um, you felt like you were deceived. And it feels like that's not, that's not an option for you to get deceived. Right now you feel like it's not an option. And the way you're going to heal with that is through heart healing through the experience to help decisions. Um, you know, make it so the decisions are pretty smooth. All right, next is Pisces on the list. And then it's my so excited. 
just Pisces, you're working on healing through hostilities from past relationships that have to do with home, family, core values as well. And what you're working on is going to help when you can align the entire inner vessel and start to work on expanding that light within outwards to remove some of the hostility. Practice the breath of light. Practice. As soon as you feel that trigger, that moment, you're like, oh, just breathe in. Don't exhale. Breathe in again. Don't exhale. Breathe in again. And again. Don't exhale yet. And one more breath in. And now expand the breath and don't exhale. Imagine that breath expanding. Don't exhale yet. And uh, then there's a calmness. It's really helpful. The next is Pisces, Aries, Cus. So excited. Oh my goodness, I hope it's beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> and it be beautiful. This is really happy. Wow. I need that no joke. Okay. So it shows releasing anxieties. If you felt like you were doing it solo and that you didn't have the, the team, acknowledge that there's a team and that it, there's not a soloism happening. It's an integration that's helped so much to remove the anxieties. Feeling supported has helped with that heart healing. Now with that acknowledgement, there's the opening of the garden gate which has doves flying, beautiful love, beautiful sacred growth, Expansions of heart healing, purity, innocent, loving relations. Shows an innocence, like a, a, a beautiful, loving connection, but that it's really, really deeply expansions from within, shining outwards, and all of it. Shows happy family um, with four for stability. Shows the integration there, happy family. And it shows that there, there's a, not a need for patience. With the experience, um, we're not being told to be patient through it, just it's all happening right now. And it's happening really quickly. So acknowledging that rapid uh, movement being on the Pisces Aries cusp, there is a like a rebirthing that's like washing in, expansional, but very healing, so very safe, very nested, but very also expansional and um, loving healing and growing, very focused also, but sensitive and fluid. So being able to integrate that is also important. Thank you so much for having patience and listening to all of that. It sounds a lot. Okay, I'm amazing. Thank you for that, um, Julie. I want you to write little post-its, Julie. It's going to help you work through it. So if you feel like everyone around you is judging you, right? And you don't need to feel that way. So you could change that perception and perspective by telling yourself, like writing on the wall, I am accepted. I am not judged in a negative way. I am loved. I am safe. Um, I am sacred. So that there's a level of respect and honor that comes with that. When you read that, you're vibrationally pulling that energy towards so that it's more of a peaceful, expansional integration and less of a turmoil experience of feeling judged by the um, Thank you for your presences. Thank you for loving me. I'm going to get in bed. i got to wake up early and make a music video some sacred oracle photos, my oracle cards, activation cards in the game. This is really fun. Um, I want to show you, you want to see what I made today? Maybe I will show you.
and made little um, baby bracelets of copper with multiple, like three different types of copper on there. There's a Sacred Seven and um, Moss Agate on that. That is obsidian on there, and it's magnetic copper. And then this one is, it's like, um, repels some of the EMFs, it's for little babies. Little babies, little light beings. I have a crown too, I made this crown today. And then this is an ankle bracelet, an anklet. It has turkey tail, it's made with um, opal, citrine, um, the lucky seven, the melody stones. Silver, hematite, lapis lazuli, and the moss agate as well. And um, yeah, I felt like working with that, and I believe that's the magnetized copper also. It definitely has another type of weight. It's totally another type of alchemy for sure. I've been enjoying working with them. I'm excited to to um, make more. So yeah, I pray that you'll be okay, loved ones. I'll see you again soon. Um, thank you, thank you for your souls. If you want a session with me, just inbox me and I'd be happy to do a session with you. Take care, loved ones.